Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today is another one of my quick and easy nail arts with She Modern video designs. So they're just short videos and just some demos on how to use some of the products that I have been kind of sent to review. So in this one we're going to be using some pearl shimmer and a neon. So I'm going to be using the blue neon bright sparkling because I don't have the pearl shimmer blue it's something I intend on getting and this one is the pink rose pearl shimmer this is a gorgeous colour and this one is the yellow pearl shimmer again beautiful 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 colours really nice and what we're going to do to start off with if this was your natural nail you would apply a gel or a normal top and base top, a base coat. So in this case, I would recommend using this one, which is a Nye Maylee base coat. Then I applied a white, so if you could get an Nye Maylee white, that'd be good. But I just used a normal, normal white, I can't even remember the name. I think it was this one, a gel polish white. And then the next stage would be to add some foil glue to the nail. So in this case, I'm gonna use a Nicole Diary one, but you could use anything that you want. So you would put this on top of the white gel polish, like that. And then you would let it dry under a blowing fan or on your nails until it's completely tacky, until the surface is completely tacky. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back right so we're back that took about a minute or two just to dry under a blowing fan on a, on a slow speed so now you're going to need a eyeshadow applicator like this and on the she modern canvases that come free with the pigments you're going to dispense your pigments on like this let me make sure it's in there for you so you're going to just dispense them on the frame just like that so you know that you've got sort of a canvas to work on so i'm just going to move that out of the way and put the nail there so we can see what we're doing and then the next stage to be would be just to pick up one of your colors so in this case i've decided to pick up the pink the rose pink one and i'm just going to pop it onto the nail like that in just a not really a uniformed way and then I might get a bit of the yellow and just pop that somewhere on the nail like, like so and just bring it up you know in like a patchy sort of way then I might add a bit of blue a bit of the neon blue around there somewhere and then I might get a bit more pink right around there and we'll get a bit more blue in this corner here what I like about the neons is they have a bit of a glitter in them so they're really nice and I love how these apply, they do apply really easy so you can just brighten it up a bit more by pumping a bit more colour like that and we'll just get a bit more of the pink rose up here so at this stage all of the nail has been covered with pigment then I would get a brush just any kind of brush like a dust brush of some description and then I would just you know lightly dust off any excess like that so it's not sort of sat all over the nail and at this stage this one would look something like this but you can put it on however you want this is just me showing you a quick design but you could put it on however you like so at this stage i would probably apply the you no know, wipe top coat in this case i've decided to select the i may new one so we will put the no wipe top coat on top of the gel. I like to put quite a big blob on there and then drag it down nice and lightly so that you're not running any of the pigments into each other. 
you can put the gel back that's on the opposite side to the what you've used but at this stage I'll probably just get some acetone or some alcohol in one of these tubs I would wipe off any excess onto a lint free wipe and I'll just clean my brush before I put it back into my pigments with a bit of a cleanser or alcohol or something like that it just keeps your top coat nice and clean so some people recommend putting a base coat on at this stage because it goes on underneath and then you don't have to clean out your brush so really the choice is yours so you could apply a base coat first and then put the top coat on top but I've just chose to put the top coat on there then I would cure this for about 30 seconds and I'll just while that's curing I'm just going to go and get a stamping plate and I'll be right back right so I'm back so at this stage the top coat's nice and cured and it's looking really really nice and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this stamping plate which it is a born pretty one and it's BP 77 okay easy so it's BP 77 so we're going to use that one and we're going to use a white Beauty Big Bang stamping polish because that's the only white one that I have. So, I'm just going to select any design, so I'm going to go for that one. Oops. Just scrape it at an angle. I always tend to go back over it, just scrape it at a nice angle and then pick up the design like so move everything out of my way and then I would decide which way around I want to put this so I think I'm just going to pop it this way and then I would do it like so and then we have a lovely a lovely design what do you think I think it looks really really sweet it's a really nice summer design it's really gorgeous I really love it so if you would wear this design let me know I would love to know if you buy these products and you decide to, to have a go at this money but yeah I think it looks an absolute stunner I mean imagine that on your nail like that excuse the blue tack but yeah would you imagine that on your nails in the summer I think it's a stunner so at this at this stage you would just put your stamping top coat over the top you would see it in so I'm just gonna go off and do that and then I'll come back with the finished design just going to add a bit of a stamping top coat over this you don't have to do this but it's just something that I decided to do before I put my final gel top coat on I like to just seal it in with a stamping top coat because it can run and smudge so I like to do this and then I would just finish with a final flourish of a top coat but I'll just leave it here for now because I've showed you how the top coat applies and it won't actually look that much different so here is my finished summer design thanks for watching bye